All right, Felix. Uh oh, Felix has the chess American Open Chess Championship shirt on. <laughs> I, I, I don't like this. I want the Bible guy, not the yeah. chess guy. Yeah. Yeah. Bring the Bible guy back, please. <laughs> Felix, you remember the rule? Oh, yeah, that's, that's what do you do when you see the king? Yeah. Yeah. You take it. You take it. You take right. it. All right. Again, my last one. My last one here. All right, Felix. You you seem like a strong player. Make a quick switch. Nice try, game. Felix. I like what you're going for, but you know, nothing gets by us over here. Oh, please. The chess police. We take those very seriously. He's blitzing out theory here. He has the American Open Chess Championship shirt. Where's his dad? His dad's right here. His dad's right here taking photos. Okay, he's like, he's taking photos. He's about to beat me. I know what's happening. Okay. Um. Okay. My favorite chess parents are the ones that hover right behind their kids in classical tournaments. Oh, yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. you're playing a team. That's the pressure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That used to be my dad, so I can say it. It's okay. Win or no dinner, right? Yeah, exactly. The smart parents will pull up the chair, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't want to get tired. <laughs> um, okay, your knight's in the center. I want my knight in the center, too. I need to have that perk. Hmm. Okay. Another close position, my favorite. What are What you live for, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm always getting in these close positions. Um, Are you taking kingside or queenside right now? I'm trying to figure out what the plan should be here, actually. It's not obvious to me. Yeah, I can see that. I think I just don't want to let him push his pawns. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do for now. I have more space here, and I want to make it hard for him to get space. So I'm going to play flexible, yep. It's good, right? Flexible? Good. Yep. In a position like this, make him commit. Yeah. And that's what he's going for, okay. Yeah, I know, I know, but yes. So I'll just prepare for him to open up here. Yeah, you'll lock him a little bit. We'll see if I hit the target. Looks like you got an inch forward on both sides. That's I like black. You like black? It's okay to have bad taste. Ooh. Alex, do you think we ever really landed on the moon, or do you think that was a, a, a whole fakery thing? Was it all shot in a studio? That's a great question to ask while I'm being recorded. I think we landed on the moon. You do? You believe it? Oh, we're going with that I, I do believe it, yeah. Oh, you do, really? Of course. And then they put, made a phone call to Nixon from the moon? You know, the only thing I believe is as a content creator who plays chess, I should stick out of politics if I want to keep my job. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! I like your, your pawn over, over here. Like a chess player and a director and like a, like a YouTube. You gotta have the multiple angles, you know? That must be weird having YouTube in your brain all the time. Like. Yeah, you know, something, something, sometimes something bad happens, but I think, hey, at least it's good content. <laughs> <laughs> Worth yeah. it. That's yeah. the way to look at it. Um, yeah. Content creation. Okay. Okay. Don't try anything. Yeah, just make a quiet move, see what you go for from here. Warming him up. Okay, I respect that. I'll just keep my files open here. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. 
He was very focused. He's a focused one. Yeah. You can call him the focused one. No pressure. Your dad's watching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That was not a good move. Oh, okay. Okay. That was also not great. Is something happening? Why am I making so many suspicious moves? Someone's cheering against. All uh, right. I like it. He had an, an opportune moment and he went for it. You know, he had an opportune moment there and he did it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, I guess I have to push. Gotta do this. Two pawns. This is problematic. We uh, can't help you. You know that. I I sadly know that. Okay. It, it's it's been repeated a lot, you know. Yeah, it's a thing. It seems to be the team motto over it here. It is a team motto. No help. Um. It's your first time. We have to baptize. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that doesn't work, but I don't have a lot that works here. Okay. If I had a position like this, what I would do? Yeah? Do you think JFK was a single shooter, really, Alex? Really? You're gonna have to ask my PR manager about that one. All right. Okay. I think this is lost. So let's just see what we can do. Okay. That's what I was hoping he would nice. do. Okay. He really helped me out there. Unless I missed something, which is very possible. No chance. doing on time? Terrible. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh no, my rook. Yeah, that's a nice move. The you kid got is it. Good. You played well. You played well. That was nice. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey guys, Brian here, and a beautiful finish by Felix here, Queen F1 check. And for those of you wondering why um, Alexandra did not move here after this check, can you guys pause the video see if you can find the reason why? Yes, just because it's going to be mate after Queen G5 checkmate. So she predicted she would lose the rook, and she was right. And going over here, I know it's um, I know it's white to move, but if it's black to move. How do you finish this game off? Yeah, it's forced me no matter what. Bishop here finishes the game. Beautiful crisscross mate, right? So if you want to maybe create an escape hatch, doesn't matter. Bishop here and you'll get made it this way as well. Wow, beautifully done, Felix. And he just played super solid, kind of, you know, 
just waited for his opponent to make a mistake. And I think when Alexander sacked the bishop, that was it. And But that's not the end of it, right? Hearts came to win this with one game, and Felix kind of uh, finished the game out, did not blunder after that. And it was very, very nicely done by Felix. I'm telling you, in two to three years, he will be a master. And um, Alexander played a great game as well. And I think we're going to look at the inflection point where... I mean, the bishop sack here, we'll cover that as well, but I want to show you I want to show you one line here that's very, very interesting. So we get to this position, and in the game, we have bishop takes d5. Let's go move back. How can you get a draw here as white? I know it's early in the game, but it's a pretty cool tactic. Yes, bishop takes bishop. If you retake with the rook, this rook will drop. So you can't do that. Going back here. Um, rook takes rook. And now what do you play? Yes. Queen takes f7 check. And now you can see the um, where the perpetual is going to be here. So that was one way that white could have got a draw. And here in this position, I think she was playing for tricks when she played bishop takes. But let's go move back. If you want to be a little bit more solid. I mean... Yeah, eh, this could be one continuation. Just trade off and then rook d4, maybe create some stuff here on the king side. And you're down, what, let's see, a pawn here. But you got to be careful of these past pawns. Um, got to keep an eye on these as, as they go up. So that could have been one way to go. Computer has black winning here at negative 2.1. So that was the inflection point there. But, but a very, very fun game played by Alexandra and Felix. And uh, very, very fun to watch these intergenerational matchups as well. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought again in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe with that notification. Thanks. I'll see you guys tomorrow.